I'm James Addison from Addison Farm Produce in Moriarty and we're mixed vegetable growers and uh, we grow potatoes, onions, carrots, peas, beans, uh, some brassicas and wheat and barley. And potatoes are the basis of our operation and uh, we tend to sort of formulate the rotation uh, around the potatoes. As far as rotations go, it would be nice to have a, a fixed rotation and know what's going to happen, but uh, areas for crops tend to change a bit every year. And um, um, what I try and do is just base the potato rotation on a five-year plan. So I'm sort of five years ahead already with my rotation plan and then sort of formulate the rest of the, the, the rotation around that to suit how it's all best going to work out. Um, so historically we've used a, a, a short-term ryegrass green manure crop and uh, we've found that reasonably easy to manage um, as it's quite, quite easy to spray down and it breaks down itself pretty well and then we can just incorporate that with a tiny implement before sowing. So post-harvest after a, a crop's been removed from the paddock um, to deal with the compaction what we try and do is, is get in with uh, wing rippers as soon as we can after harvest while there's still a good amount of moisture in the soil so we get a good shatter in the ground and then as soon as we can straight after that with the with the rye grass drilled in top and um, get that up in good condition so you're probably looking at about maybe three or four weeks before we get a, a bit of green cover on top of the ground again so the aim is to get it straight in and get it into good conditions uh, as far as grazing goes we we don't tend to graze our cover crops a lot. We prefer to get the growth um, up and above ground. We do graze a few little paddocks, um, but grazing is generally reduced to just removing crop residues, you know, um, some waste product. Um, and um, when it gets wet in the, when it starts to get wet in the winter time, we prefer to separate the grazing from the cropping ground, just so we're not getting that uh, compaction through the wet wet months. So we find the cover crops critical to managing erosion, so. Um, Really we try and get something established in the ground as soon as we can after harvest just because we sort of run the risk now of getting higher rainfalls as we move into winter. Um, so certainly we'll at least rip, rip the paddock straight up if there's a rain coming. If we can't get in with the grass crop we'll be in pretty, pretty soon as soon as we can. It's dry enough to get in there and get it established so it's got that protection over winter. It's made it a lot quicker to prepare paddocks and they seem to be holding the moisture better through the summertime. Um, erosion after we plant in the spring is reduced because we've still got that little bit of residue on the top of the ground from the, from the green manure to hold the paddock. Um, and generally speaking the soil health and structure has improved and we're seeing results in the crops and then better yields and yeah. Uh, I guess the motivation behind looking after the soil on the, on the farm is um, to first of all getting good results out of the crops and seeing their response to um, improved organic matter and structure and drainage. Um, but you know, there's nothing worse than seeing erosion happen on your farm, and, and it's a horrible sight from any any perspective. 